In this work, we present a MOOC framework for mobile-based manipulation of articulated objects. Our solution can handle intercategory variations in such objects in unknown fit and spaces. It ensures safe navigation manipulation through whole body planning and online collision avoidance. The proposed method comprises a two-level hierarchy, a task scheduler that performs the object interaction planning and a primitive task tracker that follows this generated plan. To generate an object interaction plan, the task scheduler first estimates various scene properties such as the target object's articulation by leveraging articulation-aware canonical representation called ANCSH. Using this information, the keyframe generator generates a discretized kinematic plan in the robot's task space. This generated plan is then passed to the primitive task tracker. For representing the environment, we employ sign distance field maps created using Fiesta algorithm. Using this map representation, we formulate an MPC problem with the robot's kinematic model and various constraints. The receding horizon controller provides the joint velocity command which is passed to an inverse dynamics controller to generate the joint torque command for the robot. In our experiments, we designed three different kitchen layouts in NVIDIA ISAC SIP. We consider the object categories, drawers, ovens, and washing machines in this work. Our method can interact with these objects in various rooms successfully. While manipulating the object, the whole body planner ensures tight coordination between the waist and the arm to prevent collision with obstacles in the scene. Real-time capability is further put to test in dynamic scenes where an obstacle moves around at a speed of 50 cm per second. Even when the object is close to the robot, the MPC planner moves the base on the arm such that the contact with the articulated object is still maintained while a collision is avoided. In our proposed method, we directly perform whole body motion control to follow the generated task space kinematic plan. We compare this approach to standard mobile-based manipulation control methods in which the navigation and manipulation are performed separately. In each of these baselines, a sampling-based planner is used to navigate the robot in front of the targeted object. In the first baseline, the base is kept fixed and only the arm is used for manipulation. In the second baseline, whole body control is performed using inverse kinematics. And lastly, the same whole body MPC formulation as before is used for manipulating the object. We compare these methods to 20 runs in each room. In each run, the robot's initial configuration is randomly sampled in the red box. A task is completed when the joint state of the articulated object crosses a desired threshold. The SLQ formulation performs the worst amongst these baselines. By not coordinating with the base during object interaction, the robot arm often hits its joint limits, thereby failing to perform the task safely. All the whole body control through inverse kinematics improves the performance. It fails to coordinate the base and the arm in advance to avoid collisions. For instance, in the shown video, it becomes too late to move the base to prevent a collision and the robot hits the table behind the drawer. However, this is not the case when SLQWBC is used. By having a look ahead in the control module, the base and arm coordination is performed tightly and such collisions are avoided. While RIT Star plus SLQWBC has slightly higher success rate than SLQWBC, SLQWBC takes less time to complete the task and is more efficient. In conclusion, we present a method that generalizes to intercategory variations of articulated objects and ensures safe navigation and manipulation in unknown kitchen spaces. Compared to inverse kinematics approach, our method improves the success rate by 134% and reduces the time taken to complete a task by 27%. For more information, please check the following link.